Hi, my name's Amy Talian, and I'm a wildlife biologist, and I study um, animal behavior. So for the last few years, I've been focusing on wolf behavior and brown bear behavior in Scandinavia and North America. But I was just recently awarded a Fulbright scholarship to go study lynx in Scandinavia and snow leopard in Mongolia, which I'm really excited about. But unfortunately, due to the global pandemic that's happening right now, um, the Fulbright program is on temporary pause and there are travel restrictions in place and we're just really not sure when I'm going to be able to go, um, whether it'll be this year, next year or whatever. So in the meantime, I thought I would take you guys on a snow leopard hunt, on a hunt for the elusive North American snow leopard right here in my quarantine shelter zone in Montana. So snow leopards are really shy and they're super difficult to observe in the wild. So we have to be really quiet when we're trying to approach them, okay? But the good thing is, is that it's snowing right now and surely where there's snow, there has to be snow leopards. So the snow leopard has moved through the trees and over here and it's actually made a kill. Now typically snow leopards kill um, ungulates like our golly sheep or ibex, but in North America it appears to have killed a North American turkey, which is very unusual. So it's really important that we don't disturb this snow leopard while she's on her kill because she's getting food from this kill, which is gonna provision her and her cubs over the course of the next few days at least, right? So this is one of the things that we actually wanna look at in Mongolia. Um, if there are lots of people in a snow leopard's home range, uh, do they get disturbed and leave their kills more quickly and lose out on that all important food source? Now, if they leave their kill sooner, they may actually go kill another prey more quickly, which means that that has impacts on the prey population as well. Wow, isn't she so beautiful? It's not every day you get to see a snow leopard in Montana. This is a really rare event, so I'm really glad we could share this together. And I'd, I'd like to thank the Snow Leopard Trust, the Snow Leopard Foundation, the Norwegian Institute for Nature Research, and the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences for supporting me with this project. I'm really excited to get on the ground and into the field.